Hello all, welcome to Radiant Guidance. My name is Molly. I'm a professional astrologer who's passionate about helping people connect to the art and science of astrology as a tool for understanding the collective themes of the time, but also our personal journeys and self-development. So today I'm going to talk about the transit of Pluto conjunct one's personal or natal north node sometimes also called Rahu on Vedic astrology. Now this transit uh, isn't so common because Pluto moves incredibly slow, sometimes just two degrees in one whole year. Generally speaking though, without retrogrades, Pluto will move about a degree every two months. So this transit um, affected people born in 1954. In 2020, they would have had the peak of this transit. Uh, so those of you born in the winter of 1990 or the early spring of 91, like myself, have this transit currently going on. And I'll talk about the archetypes of both Pluto and the North Node. So Pluto brings about transformation to whatever it touches. And sometimes this evolves a dark night of the soul or a composting that needs to happen, a shedding, so that new life can grow from where the old decayed. And so these periods of Pluto transits are particularly to planets or sensitive angles in one's birth chart can be very trying periods, but also mark the precipice of some breakthrough. So Rahu, or the North Node as they call it in Western astrology, is a destiny point, you could say. It's where we are orienting our life towards and something we are after. In Vedic astrology, they say that Rahu is kind of like our obsessions or our aspirations. It can be a little bit like a hungry ghost. In Western astrology, it's viewed as an evolutionary angle, meaning something that we're here to learn in this lifetime and really cultivate and develop. So as you can imagine, when Pluto is transiting the North Node, there's a big shift in one's current frame of reality that's inviting them to get more aligned with this North Node or destiny of their life. So it's hard to find a lot of research on this transit because, as I mentioned, not everyone experiences it. And it's not like other transits where it happens at a particular age. You um, can experience this later in life or you can experience this really early in life. So I compiled some examples. I hope they're helpful. I personally have been going through this transit and I've begun my own personal astrology channel after my old one was unfortunately deleted. So using this opportunity to take this transit by the reins and really the whole point of understanding the cycles that we're in is so that we can better act and move with these opportunities that are inviting change. So I hope that the research is interesting to you and comment below if you've been experiencing this transit what you've been experiencing, how has it played out in your life. A tip I have is to look at what house it's falling in and also look at um, the degree, the Sabian symbol of the degree. I did a post on my Instagram about 26 degrees Capricorn for all of you born in March 1991 who will have this uh, exact transit now at the time of this recording in October. So I hope it's useful. I compiled a list of some examples of notable figures in the public eye who went through this transit. Many of them are musicians or actors because that's the easiest charts to stumble upon. So the first example is Madonna, who has her north node at 24 degrees Libra. She was born August of 1958. So if you two were born then, you have a similar north node. And in 78, when Pluto was at 20 degrees of Libra, within four degrees of her natal north node, she dropped out of college and moved to New York City. It was the first time she ever took a plane and she only had $35 and went for it. She experienced some trials and tribulations in New York, according to one of her memoirs. She was actually a victim of a pretty horrific, violent crime. But in 1979, also during this transit, she started her first band, then Breakfast Club, and in 82, when this transit was actually exact, she released her first single. 
84 is when Like a Virgin came out, and that was one of her chart-topping hits, also under the influence of this transit. Some figures experienced this later in life, like Cary Grant, who had Pluto join his North Node in 1970. He's got his North Node at 29 degrees of Virgo. He was born in 1904, and he had never actually won an Oscar and was nominated for two, but never won. And finally, after a lifetime of his career and being this leading Hollywood man, the Academy decided to give him this kind of retrospective award for all of his life's work. And I found it interesting that Pluto was actually retrograde on his North Node, as this was a kind of retrospective recognition. The next person is Andre 3000. He is the frontman of the group Outkast, and they were very not very known prior to this pivotal moment in 95 when he won Best New Rap Group of the Year at the 95 Source Awards, and he was born in 1975, the late spring of 1975, and has his North Node as Zero Sag, and when he won this award, Pluto was just within three degrees approaching his North Node. It was transiting through the last degrees of Scorpio. Another example of someone with that same North Node placement at zero degrees Sag is Angelina Jolie. In 95, she had her first major leading role in the film Hackers, and she had been brought up in a Hollywood house but never had a leading role until this one. And on that set, she actually met Johnny Lee Miller, who she then married in 96 under the influence of this transit. Next, we have Travis Barker, Tom DeLonge, two of the leading members of Blink-182. They both are born in 1975 and have their North Node at 21 degrees Scorpio. In 94, when they were undergoing a Pluto conjunct North Node transit, the band released their first album, Buddha, and they signed with their first record label. This next example I actually found simply by googling. I googled something like difficult moments in actors or actresses life turning point moments and this was a story that came up and it was about Charlize Theron who at the time had just moved to LA. She was pursuing modeling after a pretty tumultuous upbringing in South Africa where she actually witnessed her mother murder her father at gunpoint. And she was modeling and cashing one of her last modeling checks and the bank teller could not take the check and she had this kind of breakdown moment in the bank and the individual standing behind her in line happened to be a casting director and witnessing this kind of emotional breakdown said, listen, I can represent you. And that led to her first auditions and subsequent initial roles as an actress and as we know, she's now a pretty prominent actress with quite a history of films. And I wanted to give an example of someone who recently went through this transit. This is a person with the North Node in Capricorn at 23 degrees, and it's John Travolta. He was born in 1954, and in 2020, he had both Pluto and Saturn on his North Node, actually in his seventh house, which is the house of partnership, uh, our primary partnership and sadly he went through a difficult time where his wife passed away and he had to put his career on hold and made an announcement that he wants to focus more on his family and more private matters as at this time and I found it interesting because I think the more intense uh, Saturn influence could have really accounted for the more somber and challenging themes and separation and and really like death that Saturn represents. Though all Pluto to North Node transits, as you can see, represent a kind of moment of challenge followed by something that begins a new cycle of initiation towards one's destiny. Now, if you are born 1990, end of the year, early 91, 
you will be going through this transit and are going through this transit if you were born, as I mentioned earlier, in March 1991. You're going through this transit right now, October 2022. So I'd love to hear a comment below if if you've watched this and you share one of the birth years of the individuals I mentioned or you've gone through this transit or are going through it. I'd love to hear what your experience has been with it. And if you are interested in guidance around understanding the transit as it relates to the house that falls in in your chart and your chart as a whole and your unique life path, I'm available for readings. My website is radiantguidance.com. I also have other classes and information on that website if you're interested to learn more about astrology. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button and like if you enjoyed this video.